Hello, everybody, and welcome to Face Rig. What is Face Rig? Well, it's a bunch of crazy tutorial things that actually make very little sense. But this is Face Rig. Okay, so you might be a little confused as to why there is now a red fox talking to you on the screen. And that is because this software is a camera augmentation or maybe a fursuiter's dream or I don't know something like that all I know is that it's in beta it's actually pretty interesting and this is what I was talking to talking about the first time that I was going to do a face cam uh, that was a long time ago I actually mentioned that hey I might do a face cam at one point in time I had I plans for a face cam and this was it but it took like a year to come out. Uh, but anyways, as you can see, as I turn, you know, you can see my little camera down in the corner here. And then the fox trying to mimic, mimic me, but not doing very well at it. Uh, I think the problem is because that my face is not good for facial recognition. Uh, <laughs> my... My voice isn't exactly great for facial recognition either, uh, but, you know, whatever. Anyway, so let's take a look at what we can do with this thing. Obviously, we have a fox. He's mimicking my movements a little bit. He's trying to mimic my uh, speech, the way I'm talking. And you can see he talks with his eyes closed because the, th the thing thinks my eyes are closed. I don't know. It, I, I, I don't know what's going on. It wasn't doing this when I was testing it before open my eyes really wide so it knows that I'm actually like doing things uh okay wait hang on reset face tracker what you have to do is you have to pause you have to have a completely neutral expression and just stare straight at the camera when you do that see he's still pointing down let's try this again and he tries to reset himself but it doesn't work all that well um it's trying to match my face, but it's not matching my face very well. What I found is it actually kind of works better because you can see he's trying to lip sync, but it's working terribly. Uh, I found that if we actually turn off lip sync, it kind of works better. Not really, but it's actually just trying to make my face movements now. And uh, I would point this out. If you've ever had a problem with your face, like some imperfection about your face this thing is going to point it out to you for example my face seems to be bent ever so slightly to the left at the bottom uh so he his face here is always being pulled ever so slightly to the left and it's kind of silly um but i like his program i would point out that this is an early access hell i don't even think it's out until well, I guess today, technically, for you guys, uh, it's supposed to come out Friday. Today's Thursday. I got it yesterday, but I couldn't get it working very well. The problem is, I think, the lighting. Um, it works better. It works worse, depending on what, what I have set up for the lighting. I've got a camera back here that I've been fiddling with. Let's see. Put a little bit more light on that side. Try to even out the light a little bit. It seems to have helped a little bit. Uh, I think a big problem is the lighting, and I think that's going to be a huge problem that they're going to have. Ooh. Straighten up my shirt for YouTube. I'm doing a video. I got to look professional. Yeah, bullshit. If I was looking professional, I would keep looking at the camera. Though there is this trick. Uh, that one. Okay, now, no matter where he looks, he's always looking at the camera. He's always looking at you. He doesn't. His eyes don't follow my eyes anymore. Though it does try to blink for me. It's kind of actually kind of annoying um, now that it doesn't work. All right, so let's actually take a look at this. So we can hide the interface. So it's just showing the picture itself. Bring back the interface. Uh, we can load a performance, which is basically the opposite of recording a performance. Um, we could take a snapshot. We can start a record that's not available right now which I think that just means that it's not available to use yet. I don't think it actually works. It used to say not available right now. Um, well, I don't know. Maybe I was mistranslating what it was saying. I thought it was that you had to record a performance 
and then you could record it. But I think that's I think I'm wrong. Uh, I think NA right now just means that it's not implemented yet. Uh, we got uh, karaoke mode, which I have no idea what that does, but it's not implemented yet. We have the toggle face tracking, and basically, if I turn that off, he just kind of stops doing anything for that matter. Okay, neutral expression. I try not to have a neutral expression when I record, but that's kind of annoying. Uh, lip sync. It, let's turn off face tracking, and let's turn on lip sync. And basically what it's doing is it's trying to take the audio that it's picking up and move the lips. If I cover my face, it will still try to move the lips like I'm talking, even though it can't see my face at all. Um, and it's not popping up at the bottom saying it's trying to capture anything. But if I turn on toggle face tracking, and now it's actually face tracking, but if I cover my face, it will actually say, you know, tracking lost and all that fun stuff at the bottom there. But it will still try to do the lip sync thing. Um, let's let's reset. Okay, neutral face again. It does help a little bit. Um, it's also very, very confusing. Let's see. Talk, toggle pick and pick mode. Basically, you know, it switches between the different versions, so we can just have the fox, we can have both of us, we can just have me, which I'm not in good shape today, so I'm perfectly fine leaving up either just the fox or just my face, though I am going to leave up my face, even though I'm not too particularly thrilled with my appearance right now. But, you know, the point of this is to compare the fox's face to my face and see what he's doing. Uh, the... There's reset face tracker. Obviously, you have to take a neutral expression and then press the button like that, like so. And then it resets its face tracking. I've ha I have to do that a lot. Uh, like they said, this game is in beta. It's in early access. I got it on Kickstarter, and I've only got a early access this early because I was in the Kickstarter, which is actually kind of cool. Uh, toggle sound loop back which is actually taking the audio and looping it back into my headphones, which if I turn it on, I can actually hear myself, which I don't like turning on because, uh, one, it's recording from the microphone that's built into the camera, not from the Blue Yeti mic that I use all the time. Uh, and two, it's actually delayed because the camera is delayed uh, ever so slightly. If I move, there's a tiny itty bitty bit of delay between when I move and when the camera or when the fox moves. And that's because the software is trying to translate and it's actually presently using a grand spanking total of 45% of my processor. So not a lot. I mean, I have a core i7, uh, eight core processor. So I've got the horsepower to run this software very quickly. It's just not using it, but that might be just because it doesn't have the ability to use it. Uh, let's see what's next. We can toggle broadcast, which I think... And I haven't played with this yet because I don't have anybody to play with it with. Uh, but I think it will actually pretend that it's a webcam so that I can actually use this as a camera. So basically, if I do this boop, and just do it like that, it looks like it's the fox talking instead of me talking. And I can actually use this with any software that uses a webcam. So like Skype or... Does Steam use it? I actually don't know. But pretty much anything that uses a webcam, I can use this instead. See why I called it a furry's dream? <laughs> uh, let's turn back on the HUD because I can see it. And let's, um, where is it? Pick and pick. Okay. And then toggle avatar look at camera. Basically, you know, he'll always be looking at the camera no matter where I'm looking. But if I turn this off, if I look to one side, he looks to one side. If I look to the other, he looks to the other. It's actually kind of cool. Um, and I wonder if he crosses his eyes. Let's see. Open my eyes. Cross them. I can't see them because my eyes are crossed. I don't know. I can't. I don't think he is from what I can see. Uh, and that hurts my eyes doing that. But I do like the idea that he blinks when I blink. Uh, obviously, he... He's not working very well right now, and I think it's because of the lighting. Um, <clears throat> I mean, that's something that they're going to have to work on. Uh, I don't know how they do it so well in their videos. 
let's turn off lip sync. That's screwing with me. I th it just works better if it doesn't try to lip sync. The lip sync's not that great. Because, uh, well, I think basically what it has to do, it's, it's kind of like translating voice into text into speech. So it's transcribing something and then translating it back to voice. But in this case, it's taking what I say, transcribing it, and then translating that into facial movements. Well, speech recognition doesn't work all that well to begin with locally. You have to have a pretty big honking server like, say, Google server or Apple server. You know, that's how Google Now and that's how Siri works. And, yeah, so basically you talk, the phone sends the information to the server, and then the server sends the translated information back again. Yeah. Okay, so then we got uh, export movie from performance. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. I can save it, but it's not available right now. I can load movie, set as tracker source, which I haven't played with yet. I might have to play with that and see how that works. I may take a quick look at that. Uh, let's see. Reset all options to default. Uh, NA right now. I like that idea. Uh, not available right now. That's okay. Uh, let's see, we got tracker okay, that's if it can see me or not, so if I cover up half my face, or most of my face, and it loses the tracker, the tracker is re in recovery, and now it can see me again, we got tracker confidence, which I can never get above like 80%, but I think that's because, again, my face is just not good for facial recognition, uh, and then we have this thing, which I have no idea what it actually means. Uh, mic on one side, cam on the other, I, 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 and the green thing. If I turn on toggle sound loop back, no, it doesn't move. Hello? Hello? I can usually get this thing bouncing back and forth, but I don't know what the hell it does. I have no idea what that's for. All right, so uh, let's see. We got the face rig logo down here, which I would be, assume that once it's done, uh, like built and stuff like this, this will go away, or possibly it won't. Uh, which actually is not that bad. I mean, you 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 all would know that I'm not just some fox or a 3D generated character, so you would know that I'm doing something. So having the logo saying what was generating it is not a problem. Uh, then of course at the bottom of the screen here we have the version number, which is you know perfectly fine. Um, all right, so let's actually dig into the actual customization options. Now, the problem with these options is that they open in another window. So if I choose or click choose avatar and background, it pops up in another window that you guys can't see. At least I'm fairly sure you can't see. Uh, so I'll just keep that off to the side where I could pick the avatar model, the avatar skin, and the background model. Let's actually go from the bottom up. Um, so in the background, we have this like very blurred out forest kind of thing. I have a choice of background. So um, we have lava pits, which is actually really cool. I like that. Can I make him look mad? No, I could just make him look stoned. <sighs> nope. <clears throat> Some of the other models actually seem to work better. I'll get to them in a minute. Uh, let's see, face rig forest. That's where we were. I love how the lighting changes. It's like it's actually generating this behind it. It's really cool. Uh, park in the afternoon. I guess I can kind of see a path in the background, and there's kind of trees, and there's something off there, and grass, I guess. Uh, let's see, mountaintop. Okay, I'm just going to point this out right now. I don't want my backgrounds blurred. I really, really don't. I hate this force protective bullshit, and it's snowing, and that's kind of awesome, actually. I'm trying to get the character to look at what I'm pointing at with the, with the mouse because I have no idea if you can actually see the mouse. I think you can. Uh, let's see. We got a village in the evening. That's That really bright light over there is a bit distracting. And then we have what looks like... A trailer in the background or one of those diners that goes around and you know, like uh like porta diners or whatever you call them meals on wheels kind of things where they go around they open up the side and they sell food out of it 
uh, let's see, Fluffo's apartment. So that's this guy's Fluffo, and this is apparently his apartment. He appears to be a slight alcoholic. <laughs> Just a slight alcoholic. Uh, and those are recycling bins. Why does he have recycling bins and a dolly in his in his apartment? Like, I mean, that's a picture. That's alcohol on a stand. That's obviously a bar. But he's got recycling bins. Apparently, I was right when I called Fluffo a freaking alcoholic. He has to have the recycling bins right here. Well, at least he's an environmentally conscious alcoholic. Uh, let's see. Empty parking lot. That's pretty accurate. <laughs> Edge of the galaxy. Now, I've seen this picture less unfocused, and it looks really, really cool, but I have absolutely no idea how to get it unfocused. Uh, dark hallway. God, I'm back in high school. Let's see. Oh, and then we have custom stuff, which I never actually bothered to set up. Uh, background custom picture, background custom cube, that kind of thing. It's actually pretty cool, but we don't have that. Uh, let's go back to the forest, because this is the fake straight forest. Uh, then we got Avatar Skin, and this actually changes the skin itself. So, like, uh, this one's called Blackie. Uh, he looks like a bear. He does. He looks like a cub. He doesn't look like a fox anymore. He looks like a cub. A bear cub. Uh, custom, which I guess means that you can make your own if you knew how. I don't. But all the customs are gray. Uh, then there's Rainbow, which... Just looks crazy. All of a sudden, I'm a hippie. Ooh. Makes me wish he actually had hands. Also explains why his eyes are constantly closed. He's fucking high. Uh, and then winter clothes. Now he just looks like a teddy bear. <laughs> no, not custom. Default. All right, and then let's get into actually something uh, mildly interesting. We have the different models. Now, Fluffo is the default model. Uh, this, he's the one that pops up when you first open the program. He's the one that's always popped up when I first open the program, no matter what I change. He is the default one, and that's not necessarily a problem. So I'll work from top down. We got Alia, which is very sensitive to my eyes being closed as well, it seems. Um... I haven't had much luck with this character model, but she appears to be an elf, judging from her ears. Um, and her hair has slight physics, which is kind of cool. Even the hair draping over her shoulders kind of has physics. Kind of. I mean, it recognizes that it's attached, but uh, it doesn't move all that much. And there's actually a reason for that. And if I actually open up one of the other options, the avatar customization... No, I want to make that go away. There we go. Nope, it still won't go away. You bastard. Uh, where is it? Up, down, position, options. Now, the reason her hair stays put is because I figured out that you can move the character up and down. But if you go down, you realize she's wearing a teddy. And she has no legs. And really, really strange looking arms. But uh, that's why her hair doesn't move. is because there's nothing underneath it to block from the problems. Um, let's reset you. Okay. Back to the models, and let's move on to the next one. Then we have Ardalas, if I'm pronouncing this right. And uh, it's a dragon. And that's kind of cool. Uh, the dragon has some default movements, like how its back is twitching and its wings are flapping. It's not like I'm causing that or anything like that. At least I don't... No, I'm not. It's just a default, just a standard movement and stuff like that. I think if I move a lot, if I'm very animated, it might do it more, but... From what I can tell, really, it's just a timer. Um, uh, what else we got? Uh, oh, I guess I'm not looking at the skins, but eh, whatever. Uh, I would assume that the uh, lava pits are for Ardalas here. I am fire. I am death. Yeah. Uh, where was it? Let's go back to the forest. Yes, yeah, so it's just a forest dragon now. Uh, let's see. Kathy, which is an anthropomorphic fox. Um, looks like something from Star Fox. 
Actually, it really does look like something from Far Star Fox, doesn't it? I mean, it looks like isn't that the isn't isn't she the uh, uh, the the like Star Fox himself's girlfriend or something like that? Kind of looks like it. Uh, let's see, Commander Hunter. This guy is just goofy. He had problems with my eyes from the get go. Even when everything else was working perfectly, he do he doesn't he doesn't like my eyes. I don't get it. I really really don't get it. And he's also like really close to the camera. It's really strange. He also won't look at the camera, no matter how hard I make him try. Hang on, let's, let's make him actually look at the camera. Come on, look at the camera, you bastard. He still doesn't want to look at the camera. Come on, it, oh, kind of. He still looks like he's kind of looking down, kind of-ish. It's like he's looking down on you or something. I I, I don't know. Uh, What else we got? We got Danny, which is an anthropomorphic wolf. Which I think a lot of people would actually kind of like. I like his jacket. If it wasn't for the fact that it's sleeveless, I'd want a jacket just like that. What's wrong with his face? I could have sworn I just saw some weirdness with his face, but I must be mistaken. Uh, what else we got? We got Doge, which is just a misspelling of dog based off of that dog coin cryptocurrency thing that we saw a while ago. And... It's just, it's not anthropomorphic, it's just a dog. And then we got Ezra, which is, I'd have to say, the creepiest out of all of the models. And I know that none of the models, like, properly bend their necks or anything like that, but this one seems to be a lot stiffer. And I think it's because they made her, like, really skinny. Okay, she's just a really skinny person. Oh, I never noticed her hair bun before. But she looks like, uh, what's her name from Final Fantasy X? Which, if I do this, no, not that one. That one! Now she really looks like that character from Final Fantasy X that I can't remember the name of. Um, but yeah, Black Mage, White Mage, Blue Mage. Oh no, that's custom. Crap, I, for I, messed, up I messed up the joke. I was going to say... Blue Mage, and then female Gandorf, but uh, yeah, I fucked up the joke. Oh well, my bad. Uh, then we got Fluffo here. This is Fluffo. Uh, Fluffo has a few extra little options, so he's got Fluffo with a Christmas hat. And the Christmas hat has a little bit of physics involved in it. Kind of goes through Fluffo's shoulder there, but okay, whatever. Uh, then we got Fluffo with fur physics. Which, if you pay attention, his fur actually does move, which is kind of cool. But it's very, very subtle, which is really neat. Uh, and I think, no, Fluffo with fur fixes does not have his different skins. Uh, Fluffo with no goggles. He looks cuter without the goggles. Uh, okay, then we move on to Lady Catherine, which it seems to be the same fox lady. Kathy and Catherine, except when it's Kathy, it's spelled with a C, and when it's Lady Catherine, it's spelled with a K. Yeah, that doesn't help my spelling problems any. Uh, she's got a custom skin, which is just gray, of course. Default. Um, let's see, who else? We got... I laughed my ass off when I saw this one. Lord Burger. I am Lord Burger. I have French fries for eyebrows. Ah. And I appear to have cucumbers instead of pickles. Ah. He does. He has cucumbers, not pickles. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, Mashy, little tiny gray cat. We had a real dog. We may as well have a real cat. And then there's Matchy Optimized, which I haven't quite figured out what that actually means. I don't know what the difference between unoptimized and optimized is. And then there's, moving on, Midori-chan. Yeah, there we go. Okay. And uh, she is an anime elf, as you can tell from her ears. Um, you know, I knew somebody in high school who actually put their hair up like that. They, she didn't have the, the like, armor plates on her ears, on her uh, little balls. But... Uh, yeah, she actually did put her hair up like that every now and then. Uh, 
Then we got Moon Moon, which is just a wolf. I guess this is the not anthropomorphized version of previous wolf. Uh, Sapuri! Sapuri! Which I guess is like a samurai, but with purr in the middle of it. It's a pun! It's a play on words! Ha ha ha! Funny and that kind of fun stuff. But I think it's kind of like uh, Fluffo with his uh, Christmas hat. This it would be the cat with a samurai hat. Uh, then we have Shoulder Gun Hunter, which would be like the hunter that we saw previously that doesn't want to look at the camera, like, ever. Uh, but he's got, like, this, uh, wannabe... I'm trying to make it look at the camera. God, the gun doesn't even want to look at the camera. Uh, but it would be kind of like the, uh, 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 Predator Shoulder Gun thingamabob. Yeah. Then we have the Lava Baron, which I guess this one might be for... The Lava Pits. He actually looks kind of cool. Is that part of my jaw, or am I wearing chin armor? I don't know. I need to comb my hair. Uh, then we have... Zraxis. Which apparently is just me on a bad day with a hoodie. That's it. <laughs> I need to shave. Actually, I do need to shave. I haven't shaved since yesterday. I, I hate shaving. I suck at shaving. Um, so, yeah. Th those are all the models that I have. There are actually plenty more models, but I didn't pick that uh, level in the Kickstarter. Uh, let's set you back to Fluffo. Just regular Fluffo, because we can fiddle with Fluffo. Um, uh, yeah, there's all kinds of crap that you can do. But, uh, yeah, so there's all kinds of crap you could do under avatar customization. And, I mean, it is a ridiculous amount of stuff. Like, uh, obviously, you could set the side-to-side -side position, which would make sense. Up, down, which... Hover Fox! <laughs> I don't know why, but his hands there are creepy. Very, very creepy. Uh, and then further away from the camera, and then... I can see into your soul. You need some chicken soup. Uh, we could change his color, which I'm only going to fiddle with a little bit of. Let's see if I can... Yeah, you can see a, making him a red fox, like Firefox. Yeah, he's a Firefox now. You know what? That's his skin color. He's a Firefox now. But you could change like all kinds of crazy crap. His bandana color, which doesn't want to change all that much. Actually, it doesn't. Huh. Oh, that's just the pattern color. Okay, it's not the background. It's just the pattern. It's the crowns there that are changing color. Uh, let's see. We could fiddle with... Let's see. Ear scale, so I can make his ears bigger or smaller. Reset that. Eye scales, I can make... Creepy-ass, big-ass eyes. Now I can really see into your soul. Uh, scale nose, big nose, little nose, big nose, little nose. Yeah. <laughs> Moving along, uh, we can add props like, uh, a red nose on my head. But you can actually move around. We could change the scale of it. <sighs> it's one of those things from, uh, The Incredibles, except it's red instead of black. Yeah, Doop. and then we can I can I can I can change its position and crap like that side to side. Hang on, let's get you back centered. No, pull you forward, then down. A little bit more forward, and then to the side. There. Now he's got a clown nose. That doesn't move when I move my nose. <laughs> Reset. Uh, there's also a whole bunch... Oh, can we... Ch oh, I can't change the skin of the red nose. Uh, there's a whole bunch of other things, like hipster glasses. Which, if I attach them, they look like that. Yeah, I don't think the props are actually supposed to be there. Uh, let's see. We got prop nose. Let's see if the prop nose actually works with the hipster glasses. Attach. Yep, they work better. Now, I don't know what makes these hipster glasses, but, uh, all right, whatever. I'll go with it. Viking helmet, which doesn't work all that well. 
It doesn't work on the head either. <laughs> uh, but there is a second prop head. Let's see if I put the Viking helmet there. Attach. Ooh, there we go. Now I got a Viking helmet. I'd have to turn off the goggles, though. <sighs> All right. And then we have special actions as well. I can... I can uh, keyboard. I can do this. Yeah. <laughs> I can stick out his tongue, and then I can make it move around. And that's actually mildly creepy. Um... There's also a setting for shoulders, I guess, so you can, like, shrug shoulders or something, but they haven't been enabled yet. And there's also enabled look at mouse, so he'd look at the mouse instead of, you know, at where I'm looking or always at the camera, but I can't do that. And then I can enable or disable blink. So it's not blinking, it's just shaking its head. But if I, like, close my eyes, he'll actually close his eyes, I think. I don't know. I can't see it. My eyes are closed. But he tries to he tries to match my eye movements. It just doesn't work all that well. Let's turn back on blink because it just works better. And then if you set all of this stuff, you could actually save the settings and then load all the settings and all that fun crap. Um, what else we got? Uh, pose avatar. We can pose the avatar. So if I turn off face tracking, I can pose the avatar. Oh, dear God, you should see these freaking settings. There, I could close his eye. It's left, right, right eye, left eye. Oh, is that why? Is that why he can never actually close that eye? It's because his eye's not set to close, period. Okay, whatever. What else we got? We got... It's Mad-Eye Moody. Actually, I could probably make it look like Bad Eye Moody, but I ain't going to. Uh, I mean, there's all kinds of little settings in here just for noses and head body roll. Whee! I'm dancing like the people in Unturned. Head roll. More responsive than when I do it. Yeah, the... There are tons and tons of little tiny settings in here. It's kind of crazy. And that's just the pose. I mean, combine the pose with the avatar customization, and holy shit, you could have some serious fun with that stuff. There we go. All right. Uh, next is background customization. Now, this is where I think uh, the focus and stuff comes in. Um, I cannot find... Uh, yeah, I cannot find the settings for what I want. I don't want the background out of focus. I really don't. I don't like the background being out of focus, but I cannot figure out which setting or combination of the hundred or so settings that are in here would actually change the background. But there's tons and tons and tons of crap you can change. I mean, it's freaking showing you in the center here, it's showing you directional light, yaw, pitch, roll, all that fun crap. So you could have some serious fun fiddling with the backgrounds. And I'm just too lazy to do it. I really, really am. I just hope that somebody makes a options that's actually kind of cool, and then I'll be able to load those options, and so on and so forth. But, you know, whatever. I'm going to skip that. Uh, let's see. Advanced face tracking calibration. Another batch of settings that are just way too in-depth for me. It uh, I can set up the sensitivity for my roll, the roll of my head, the offset. So, like, you see how he's already like this, but, you know, I can... Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but it is kind of crazy how much detail this thing has control like you have separate controls for the offset of each of the axes um then you have sensitivity so i can turn down the sensitivity and as i turn my head he only turns his head a little tiny bit or i can turn it up and if i turn my head a little tiny bit he turns it a lot i can't get it to turn around but whatever set you back to about where you were 
But the general idea is you crank up the sensitivity a little bit. That way you can do little tiny movements that get exaggerated in the video. So that way you can look up or you can look down without losing face tracking. Because if I take my face the whole way up, it loses face tracking. And it loses the microphone too, but whatever. Um, so, yeah. Uh, then we got expression units, which is another giant freaking set of, of options which I could probably fiddle with if I had uh, if I had the brains to figure it all out. This is probably what I could fiddle with to fix the eye problem that I'm seeing right here. And that's probably how they do it in all those demo videos that they have, is they have somebody actually fiddle with all of these settings in here. Um, I can't do that. I don't know how to do that. It's just so, so many options that it's kind of ridiculous. Um, then we have voice effects options, which I'm not going to fiddle with because it's, well, I don't know. It might. Hang on. Let us toggle sound loop back. No, toggle, toggle sound loop back. There we go. And I'll turn off the audio from the microphone, like the Blue Yeti microphone. So the audio for this section might suck a little bit. But basically what you could do, you could change the pitch, you could set up robot voices and another robot voice, and that's it for right now. Let's fiddle with pitch right now. This is its default setting. If I crank it up to its highest... It kind of sounds like a chipmunk, but not really. Um, I make a joke, but I don't actually... Uh, it was never a fan of algorithm and chipmunks. Yeah, you guys couldn't hear that at all. The second I try to go into the audio just disappears and it's kinda of, well it doesn't work. Um Okay, so let's go into the robot voice, which sounds like this, which Kinda sounds like a Dalek. Uh, ooh, I can change the frequency of when it dies. Oh, what the hell? It's kinda hard for me to hear in this. Oh, I've heard this before. This is the, uh, from Star Wars. Um, hang on. The fox was kinda down with like that. But this is from Star Wars. Uh, on Huff, when they were doing the attack, this was the radio voice. And then we have down here, which is more like a dialect. Exterminate! Exterminate! Actually, I could probably change the hertz and fix that. Uh, then we got Robot Voice 2, which almost sounds like a turret. Almost. There's no options for it, so I can't fiddle with it any bit. But it kind of sounds like a turret, but not really. Yeah. <laughs> let's just let's just turn that off and leave that alone for right now. Uh, then we have timeline editor, which you can make your own little videos, which is kind of cool, but uh, it's not implemented right now. General options, which is to change resolution, change which uh, devices you use. Like you pick webcams, the audio recording device, and it doesn't recognize the blue items at all or the blue Yeti at all. Uh, audio playback devices, which it recognizes all of my playback devices, but it doesn't recognize all my recording devices, but whatever. And then it's got a thre silence threshold for the microphone that it is using, so it won't pick up audio if it's below that threshold. You know, standard crap. Boop. Uh, and then we got the face rig tutorial, which I figured, oh, that'll be useful. But if I click on it, it's just back to this thing, and I've already done this. I actually read that kind of thirty thoroughly. Yeah. So that's Fig's Rig. I think it holds a lot of potential. Uh, I'm glad I. I'm actually glad I backed this. Uh, it's it's really cool and fun to play with. Uh, I think you can pre-order it today on Steam. I'm not 100% sure about that. Like I said, I got it early because it's 
well, I backed it all in Kickstarter last year. And, you know, it kind of works. I like it. Uh, so I will end this episode here. Boop. Uh, which button is it? Crap. Let's turn you off because that's just annoying. Boop. All right. And as a Firefox, I will say to you guys, as always, keep playing the game and have fun. looks so happy or evil I can't tell which <laughs>